CV Boats presents Florida Sport Fishing, television for the avid angler, powered by Mercury Marine. Oh, yeah. On this episode of Florida Sport Fishing. Oh, 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 oh. Ooh, look at that. Fire truck red grouper. Florida Sport Fishing TV proudly utilizes and endorses Maxell two-speed big game reels, exceptional performance with silky smooth carbon drags and heat-treated stainless steel gears. The future of fish fighting is here. VMC Coastal Black Hooks, engineered to withstand saltwater. Tropic Trailer, Florida's largest dealer has the right trailer at the right price. Motor Guide, precise maneuverability equals better fishing. Hey guys, welcome to Florida Sport Fishing TV. I'm Captain Mike. We've got Captain Carlos on board. What's going on, guys? Check it out. We've got an absolutely sick show for you. We're on board the legendary Yankee Captains. 100-foot party boat yep. sailing out of Key West year-round. They fish the Dry Tortugas, Pulley Ridge, Halfway Ledge. They do it all, man. A lot yeah. of different yeah. spots. Every year, we get about 20 guys together. They join us out here for three days of fishing, two full nights. It's a lot of time. We're going to be at the rail for a lot of well, time. Well, it's an addiction at this point. It really is. Yeah. I'll tell you what, we've done this show multiple times. I know you've watched them. What's different about this year is we're really focused on slow pitch jigging. We've given up the bait rods. We're not going to be fishing any natural bait, any cup bait. Certainly, there's going to be some guys that are bait yeah. fishing. Not going to be you and I. A lot of guys are saying, what's that, though? Yeah. They, they, they're not familiar with You're that. right. Yeah, There's yeah. not a lot of information yet out there right. on slow pitch jigging. And if you don't know a lot about it, I'll tell you, got to stick around. We're going to touch on tackle, including rods, reels, line, leader systems. We're going to talk about the different jigs and how to select the appropriate jig for the appropriate conditions. We're going to talk about hooks, yep. the various species that you can catch oh, on the jigs, insane. and insane. fish yep. fighting skills. Everything changes yep. when you're fishing the slow pitch It's a tackle. finesse style of fishing. It really sure. is yep. incredibly powerful, incredibly sensitive, but finesse. Finesse, I cannot stress it enough. So I'll tell you what, stick around. It's going to be an absolutely awesome show. We left at noon. We've been steaming for 10 hours. We're already 100 plus miles the into the Gulf. anticipation is killing me. Killing you, yeah. right? Yeah. Killing yeah. me as well. Yeah. So, hey, yeah. we're almost there. We're about to make our first drop. So I'm ready, baby. Let's I'm go. fired Let's up. Let's do this. Let's do it. Yeah. What was that, right off the bottom on that jig? There you go. No, that's a rockfish. There you go, Carlos. You're tight. First drop, bouncing it off the bottom, and I let it sit back down, and <laughs> the line literally peeled out of my hands when this thing hit. Grouper? Grouper, Grouper. Good old Grouper. What'd you get there? Red. Nice. There he goes. Man, we're screaming. <laughs> Trying to keep an eye on everybody else's line. It's the thing about head bow fishing. Yeah, there's a lot of guys, but you know, how else are you going to get out here? These areas that are 100 miles off the beach, certainly you can come out in your own boat. But when you've got a group of over 20 guys, <laughs> head bow fishing's the only way to go. This is way up high. I'd have to suspect that's, of course, a tuna way up there like that. <laughs> really having that intimate relationship with your rod and reel and however corny it may sound, you need to know exactly where that breaking point is because there's times you're gonna have to push the tackle right to the limits. And just a little bit too much, a fraction you know, of a pound of extra drag too much and boom, it's over. And the only way to gain that is just with time and experience fishing the same outfit over and over. <laughs> No, he's not happy. All right. Gotta love that sound. <laughs> the tuna wiggle, baby. I mean, just resembles any sort of bait fish or squid. And this guy certainly fell for it. A little bit of glow right on there. Two hooks up on top, assist hooks on the bottom. 
is all over it. Did its job, and I mean, you could see that mouth. That fish just <laughs> inhaled that <sighs> teeth on there. 32.7 feet, <laughs> to be exact. About 25 feet. The award-winning Z Performance line from CV raises the bar. It's not just fast. It's not just fuel efficient. The CVZ is the entire package. It offers the perfect balance, safe, predictable handling during hard turns and at high speed. And most importantly, the Z stays on plane at lower speed so it can comfortably handle anything Mother Nature can dish out. Experience the exhilarating ride of the CVZ. Schedule a sea trial today. It's your turn to score big. Book a long-range adventure aboard the legendary Yankee Captains. Fish virgin waters more than 100 miles offshore for exotic queen snapper, trophy tilefish, monster grouper, and more. With a lifetime of experience, let Captain Greg Mercurio and his dedicated crew put you on a hot bite. Fish around the clock or just relax. With full galley and huge fish boxes, all you'll need to bring is your appetite for action. Now sailing from Key West year-round. Boats get dirty, that's a fact. Thankfully, Rejuvenate Marine uses patented nanotechnology to make your boat cleaning faster and easier, literally cutting your cleaning time in half. Watch this. With highly concentrated biodegradable ingredients across their complete line of cleaning and care products, Rejuvenate Marine lasts longer while providing professional cleaning power that's safe for all surfaces and for the environment. Rejuvenate Marine, spend more time fishing and less time cleaning. Another one on the jig. That's Grouper Dynamo. Yeah! How's that for a sea monster? Chaos. Gear matters. Shop online or visit our new superstore for everything fishing. A lot of these slow pitch rods, and certainly ours, are acid wrapped or spiral wrapped. And you can see the guides go around the blank. They start at the top and they end 180 degrees. Like a spinning rod. Yeah, like a spinning rod on the opposite direction. And the reason is it reduces twist in the rod and it also keeps that fragile braid, that really ultra thin PE line in the braid it prevents it from touching the blank. So no matter how hard that rod is bent over, that line never touches the blank. Don't know until you see it. Yep. Because sometimes, you know, you'll have those assist hooks, yeah. well, you know, stuck in the fish in a it's way sideways. to yep. where something that you think is one thing it's fights completely like something different. completely different. <laughs> yeah. But again, those assist hooks, like we talked about earlier, are absolutely essential when you're fishing these thin wire hooks to dissipate all you know the pressure points. Now yep. you've got four pressure points on that fish rather than just one. Get him. Nice job. <sighs> Whew. There's that jig. You can see it's got a little spoon shape to it. And just the way that that flutters and swims certainly fooled that blackfin right there. Get yourself some of that. <sighs> what an absolutely perfect killing machine designed to catch and kill whatever it wants. Oh man, this is it. What deep water dreams are made of right here. Pulley Ridge, it's a special place out here. It really is. If you haven't done it, Put it on your bucket list. I just switched jigs too. That's funny because the previous one got cut off on the way down. Kingfish more than likely. I still kept it around the same weight though. I think that's what's important. If you're getting bit on a certain gram jig or a certain weight, then don't change the weight. <laughs> I mean, it's working. Stick to it. You can change the pattern of the jig, but at least keep similar weight. 200 grams. That's what I've been kind of fishing. 180 to 200, 220. It's, nothing wrong with that fish. It's a 
a good one. He hit it hard. He wasn't going anywhere. Double hooked. You could see that hook's buried in him. That's why we fish four hooks. The grappling effect. Yes, sir. Pro's Tip, brought to you by Pelagic. High performance offshore gear. Got another fish on here. This one ate the jig as it was falling right off the bottom, which is another real benefit to the slow pitch jigs, is oftentimes these fish will eat the jig as it's just fluttering. So it's really, I mean, the key phrase, slow pitch, you don't really have to aggressively work that jig. You wanna just bring it to life and keep or, it moving. Or kill yourself in the process. Yeah. <laughs> Ooh, look at that. Oh, feels like a tuna for sure. Hot on the tuna so far. No, wasn't going anywhere. Well, there's only one place he's going. Here it is, you know, we're, gosh, 110 or so miles off of uh, Key West, out to the west in the Gulf of Mexico. Our first night fishing on a three-day trip. Middle of June, fortunately, conditions are just absolutely flawless, just flat, calm, beautiful. And you can see a lot of guys ask too on these bait rods why we fish eight foot bait rods. Here's a perfect example. It gives them plenty of leverage, plenty of room to keep that bait or that line and that fish away from the boat. Watch it. No, you're all right. You're all right, but hold that rod tip out away from the boat. Got deep color right there. Shark? And what he's gonna do is just bust them off here, obviously. Fiberglass, they use it to build boats and yachts because of its strength and durability. And that's exactly what every frigid rigid cooler is made out of. This is my set after 12 years and I keep them outdoors with industrial grade rubber gasket and stainless steel hinges with backing plates. Not a single component has failed on any of them. Can you honestly say that about your coolers? From 35 to 300 quarts, there's a frigid rigid cooler, coffin box or freezer for every boat. What if navigating was as simple as touch and go? It is that simple. The world's first multi-touch MFD chart water, Navnet TZ Touch. Joey Accardi Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram reminds you that before you can do this, you have to do this. And before you can do that, you're going to need this. Save thousands on every new Ram truck at Joey Accardi in Pompano Beach. Family owned and operated and bringing South Florida our best deals for over 25 years. So before you can do this, do this. And before you can do this, you have to do this. Visit joeyaccardicdjr.com. That one thumped it. Right off the bottom again? Yeah, man, 10 feet. Mutton or grouper. There, he's taking, he's taking some line now. Yep, yep, he got bigger. <laughs> no. Digging. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Come on. Oh, man, yeah, 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 yeah. He just got, he grew a little bit. So I literally just reset, charges up the jig, put it on the bottom couple cranks, smacked it 10 feet off the bottom. Awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. This is the key right here. You rush it, you'll probably end up losing them. You gotta take your time. These rods are real sensitive. You can feel every movement of that fish. It's crazy. There you go, nice fish. On the jig again. It's a grouper. Yep, big red. Yeah. Big red. Fire truck red grouper. 
There you go. Thank you, sir. Nice. Yeah, that's that the right here. one. That's what we're looking for. Inhale that jig. Yep. He wasn't going anywhere. I had him like spider caught right yep. there. You know, if you're wondering why throughout the show you see these pool noodles on the rail, there's a perfect example from that angler right there. We use it for support and it prevents damage to your tackle as well. If you're leaning your rod up against a rail, you're not gonna damage the blank. And it's just a little bit more comfortable than the piping that's on here, the metal rail. Something small, but makes a big difference, huge difference. Just hit the bottom, turned it a couple of times, and got whacked. He's got one on right here. And the trick is when you're jigging on a headboat, certainly with, you know, as you can see, 20 people up and down the side, it's really just working together, taking your time. This is coming down toward you, dude. Where are you? I'm coming down, I'm coming down. Just walking down the rail here, clear, clear line of communication, that's the key. You could fish a lot of guys on a boat, a lot of guys jigging if everybody works together. Nope, I'm over top of you. There we go. And I'm, nope, 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 over top of both of you, I think. And you're, this is clear and you I'm over top of right there. There we go. In a situation like this, you wanna back off on your drag. You don't want that drag super tight when you're hung up with a couple other lines. Nice. Solid work. Typical 10, 12 pound black fin. Expect to see a lot of these. Insider Secrets. Brought to you by Diamond Fishing, the finest monofilament, fluorocarbon, and braided fishing line. You know, a lot of people wonder, can you jig at night? And I mean, this is the answer right here. These fish can hone in on these jigs through sight, vibration, sound. I mean, they have incredible senses. In the pitch black, these jigs work amazingly well. As long as it's moving a little. Yeah, as long as it's moving. I mean, you're bringing that piece of metal to life. Obviously, if it's sitting still, they're not gonna touch it. And it doesn't take much. Again, it's called slow pitch jigging. Whew, that's a fatty. Out here, regardless if you're fishing a jig or bait, it's all about presentation and really focusing on. Uh oh. Tackle so powerful with slow pitch gear, but it's got that fine line of how far can you push it before you push it too far. You know, what's that weakest connection? Is it the hook in the fish's mouth? Is it the knot, the leader? So you fight them with finesse, not knowing even what it is. Whatever it is, epic battle. The pain is real. Deep color. Fatty, baby. Fatty. Right there. Florida Sport Fishing is the number one magazine for resident and visiting anglers. Each giant issue is packed with informative editorials, easy to follow illustrations, and tips to keep you hooked up. Subscribe today and I'll deliver the magazine to your home for only four cents a day. Visit fsftv.com right now and I'll also include a hat, unlimited access to Florida Sport Fishing Digimag for your tablet and phone, and a special gift to keep you cool on and off the water. It's your turn to score big. Book a long-range adventure aboard the legendary Yankee Captains. 
Tilefish Virgin Waters more than 100 miles offshore for exotic queen snapper, trophy tilefish, monster grouper, and more. With a lifetime of experience, let Captain Greg Mercurio and his dedicated crew put you on a hot bite. Fish around the clock or just relax. With full galley and huge fish boxes, all you'll need to bring is your appetite for action. Now sailing from Key West year-round. Florida Sport Fishing TV proudly utilizes and endorses Lingren Pittman, purpose-built, high-capacity 12 and 24 volt electric deep drop, dredge and daytime swordfish reels. Number one in design, ease of use, reliability and power. Boat Outfitters, where owners and builders go for replacement parts and hard to find hardware. Salt Life Optics, anti-glare Zeiss lenses, provide on parallel protection and polarization. Taco Marine, official outrigger system of Florida Sport Fishing TV. So we're, uh, we're just hitting sunrise right now. A lot of us haven't slept. Fish literally throughout the night. For a couple hours there, it was pretty slow, but it looks like just as the sun's coming up, so are the fish. Oh man, I just got smoked. <laughs> I just hit the bottom, one crank and ate it. The rod almost flew out of my hand. <laughs> yeah, he's digging, he's just staying down. It's a good sign. Good sign. Again, had to change the jig because I got cut off. <laughs> That's two jigs, gone. Be prepared to lose tackle when you come out here. It's just inevitable. We can't control fish with teeth. <laughs> so, that's right. All right. Not ready to come out of there yet. really see that spiral wrap in action now. It's a little bit lighter this morning here. Again, designed. Whoa, 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 whoa. Whoa, 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 whoa. Whoa, 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 whoa. whoa, whoa. Teamwork, baby, teamwork. They tell me it makes the dream work. Nice. All right. I gotta get them off the gap. <sighs> Look at that. When you're fishing bait, these mutton snapper have just an absolutely incredible sense of smell. And they'll come up, they'll smell a bait before they eat it. With the jig, it's more a reactionary strike. They see it, it's an escaping bait, and they attack it. Right there. And that jig's all beat up. Love to see that. Awesome. Let's get this guy tagged on ice. Catch another one while they're chewing. Slob fish right here. He's way up on the surface. Definitely some sort of pelagic. I can't tell if it was a tuna, maybe even a wahoo. Who knows? African pompano. All I know is I got a little, little spot of silver color. And the way it's acting way up on top like that. I'm gonna guess tuna or wahoo. Oh, wahoo? wahoo. Really? <sighs> wahoo. And again, I mean, that's the diversity of slow pitch jigging. Is able, you're able to work the entire water column and you're able to pick off pelagic fish and bottom fish. I mean, it's such a, a versatile approach. Hey. Yeah, it's a tuna. Look that's at that. That's a wrapped fat, up in the that's tail. A fat tuna. <sighs> You and the tuna, what's up Telling with you, you dude, I've just trip, been man. hot on the they, tunas. They've been like on the hooks yeah. for you, <laughs> like literally. What the crew does is they take a number tag. Every angler has a series of number tags. I happen to be 22 on this particular trip. And you'll take your 22 tag, they'll staple it right to the cheek of the fish, bring the fish to the back of the boat. They'll bleed the tunas, ice them down real well and then back at the dock, all of the fish will be distributed so you don't have to worry about caring for your own catch while you're out here during the trip. So it really makes it very convenient. Boy, this thing just slammed the jig. It's crazy. That's what's so exciting about the jig fishing is the bite. 
you know? After that, almost doesn't matter. Well, kind of matters, but yeah. Yeah, I feel like I could feel you for sure. Yep. Over top of you. No, 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 no. There we go. Wait. Bingo. There we go. Yeah. There we go. He's right here. Thank you. That's your average size mutton snapper out here. You're gonna catch some smaller ones, you're gonna catch some larger ones. But that's it right there. Eight to 12 pound fish. Beautiful coloration, aggressive. And just demolish that jig. One hook left out of three. It'll definitely do some damage to your terminal tackle. But there's that same jig we've been fishing over and over and it's working. And you can see the more beat up it gets, the more scraped up, little notches and just the paint being chipped off seems to work better and better. To learn more about the tactics and techniques seen on today's show and to subscribe to Florida Sport Fishing Magazine, visit floridasportfishing.com and get hooked up.